as uh, captured by the papers the biggest story again as you can see the face of the greatest of all time bugs his second olympic gold medal a story captured on page 28 as a country we celebrate this great win many coming out with proposals that it is now time that we accord that special care to our athletes this is because they deserve it in a huge way and we celebrate that as we continue observing what plays out in the world of politics and any other thing that will have been tough, tough rules as matatus return to full capacity passengers and crew will have to observe covid 19 protocols in the psvs is also a conversation that we'll be having this morning story captured on a page two it is incumbent upon you to be careful to take care of yourself to make sure that you abide by the protocols that way you'll have saved yourself a great deal from getting a covid 19 and home stretch that is of course uh, to matters 2022 exactly a year to the general election anxiety is uh, palpable and expectations are high but the uncertainties are also as many thanks to the pandemic threatens to disrupt the normal schedule a story captured on page six seven and eight and speaking of the normal schedule we've heard uh, people proposing that maybe we should have a postponement of the elections while others say we have not gotten to a point where we can say as a country we can't hold an election tanzania held an election during the unprecedented times of COVID 19 america has done the same chad has done the same numerous countries have done that even the smallest of democracies have been able to hold an election and therefore we cannot use COVID-19 as an excuse not to hold election but then as I would say a day in politics is like numerous numerous years and so therefore so much is likely to change and happen we've seen the IABC conversation they are set to get the four more commissioners to joining them so that they can gain the quorum to take us to an election this even as we talk matters um, a referendum whether we're going to go for a referendum or not indeed we are looking forward to see what plays out the critical players that will oversee this particular process certainly the deputy president william ruto is here president uhuru kenyatta right there alongside wafula chebukati who's the uh, chief or uh, the chair of IABC, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, well, him and the DP have been looked at as the greatest contenders that we have as at now in regards to matters politics. We do not forget the Chief Justice, uh, Martha Koome. Yes, uh, the BBI rest in the uh, or the fate of it is in the courts and then therefore we get to know what the courts will deliberate on this particular document. That is the bill, and we get to know whether we proceed for a referendum or not. The likes of the CS for matters held, Mutahe Kagwe, equally very important as to shaping up what will play out in 2022. Okoyatani, all eyes are on the economy, really important. Of course, it's been tough for us, and it is not promising in any way. Jeremiah Kioni, who is set to push for the postponement of the election, will his push succeed is a question of wait and see and hillary mutiamba a possibility of insecurity and poll violence which is extremely high so eyes on him as to how they are going to guarantee the people of kenya the aspect of security those are the key stories captured on the people daily the front page let's briefly switch to the standard newspaper and see what the standard newspaper details this morning and here we are Uhuru Raila Hall talks in Coast Resort, a story captured on page 7 of the Standard Newspaper. This, as you know, we get to see whether the people of the coast will get goodies, people of Western will get goodies out of these arrangements, and whether they're going to sit as ODM and Jubilee and form a coalition that, of course, is likely uh, to work with other parties. Remember, President Uhuru Kenyatta had maintained that in the event that they are to support them. So we stick to see what will culminate out of these meetings and i mean at some point in time also the jubilee people are a bit skeptical on having a merger or working together with odm and same applies to the same but the likes of murade have maintained that kenya should brace itself for an odinga presidency we can only wait to see a ditched 
I ditch my degree for carpentry. Many would say that is at the level of the counties. Many would say that it's not always what it is that you go to school uh, to read that you will do once you come out because reality is that jobs are a menace in the country. It's not very many of us that are lucky enough to get these jobs after coming out of school. And so sometimes you have to just drop that one thing and go for another that will appear to be good enough in terms of helping you. New COVID-19 variants worry experts. A story captured in the global scene, that is the World Page on page 28. As the World Health Organization would say, we risk losing the gains that we have made so far as a global fraternity in dealing with COVID-19 because of the variant or the new variants that crop up and the difficulties that we've had as a people to make sure that we're able to tame the spread. The greatest of all time, Eliud Kipchoge, making Kenya uh, proud, says, I enjoyed the weather, but the conditions were really, really hard. Hard for everybody, but the race was really good, and I am happy to be the winner. We celebrate him. We celebrate all our sportsmen and women for making us proud. One more thing that has been captured on the front page of the Standard newspaper. One year to Uhuru exit race begins. Succession politics is what everybody is talking about, and therefore it's exactly the 8th of August, a sudden date again that will be going for an election come next year and therefore we need to know just what then are some of the things that are going to be locked out because of the question of time what things will be incorporated in terms of changing the political terrains in the country and the conversation is on kenya just entered what promises to be a bracing 365 day period before next polls with eyes keenly trained on possibly one of six men who have dominated the political space besides the president during his nine-year period in office. This is a story that has been captured on page four, five, six, and seven. And alongside my guests, we'll ponder on that just one year to the general election what next for the people of Kenya. A majority of stories equally captured on the Daily Nation and therefore we'll be looking at all this as we continue with the broadcast alongside my guests. And before we look at that, let's briefly